Amanda, we met two years ago and uh, Just Eat was just getting started. Um, tell us how, how it's progressed since we met. It's been a very busy two years, John, uh, a really exciting and busy two years. Um, two years ago, I've, I'm not sure exactly how many restaurant partners we had at the time, but we now have over, have over 1,900 restaurant partners on the site. Um, and lots of different cuisine types, in fact over 30 cuisine types. The message is all about choice. So two years ago we would have been quite restricted with what we were offering, whereas now, as I said, over 30 cuisine types and we have, uh, we try to make food discovery exciting. So for our consumers, you know, we have a vision to create the world's largest food community and it's all about bringing connecting consumers with restaurants and helping restaurant partners because again a lot of them don't have the means to do that themselves so for these 1900 restaurant partners you know it's exciting times and um, not many people would see us as a technology company but there's lots of things going on in the background which will make it even more dis exciting and showing how food can be um, you know the choices there and discovering it is very easy through an app Getting them on board, um, a lot of these, as you know, we discussed, have um, their traditional businesses set in their ways. Uh, moving over to a technology platform where they're they're getting instructions from an app, or people are about, about accessing it by an app or a website. Getting the restaurants and takeaways on board for this, how, how was that process? Was it easy or hard? It's quite easy. Um, they see the value in being with Just Eat, and as I said, I mean, we're all about um, championing. The restaurant partners a lot of them are small restaurants that wouldn't have the means of connecting with consumers in the way we do we have large marketing spend we do lots of big campaigns we sponsor big television programs like we're doing first dates at the moment which has been a resounding success for us and um, so really they see the benefits of working with just eat you know we can't promise the number of orders we'll deliver but we'll certainly go out there and try and get as many as possible for them and in terms of the actual consumers themselves, how are they changing? Because uh, the average home has nearly 20 connected devices, uh, phones, tablets, TVs, game consoles, you name it. Uh, today's a technology demo day, and you're looking at different things like the Apple TV, and you're looking at things like the HoloLens. Uh, in terms of the consumers and how technology is shaping their ways of accessing food, like. I've never known more about food since uh, I've started using social media, for example, and I'm finding new recipes, for example. But the consumers themselves, how are they changing? You've just summed it up. Literally, they are technology driven, and so we have to be as well. Um, everything they do has a piece of technology either behind it or involved in it. And hence, today we're here to introduce some really exciting technologies that we're introducing. Again, they're not all available yet in Ireland, but it's things we're looking at. We know the consumer is ever demanding. Um, most people wouldn't associate Just Eat as a technology company, yet it is behind everything we do. So it's very exciting. Um, but we talk to our consumers, we see what they're doing, we ask them what do you want, you know, how do you want to order your food. We want to make ordering enjoyable but fun. Uh, we want to enable multiple orders coming through like Apple TV or Xbox app. We want to be able to cater for groups, we want to be able to offer choice. So anything they are asking for we're looking into. You know, like that there's obviously um, restrictions around how quickly technology is developing mm. but we're there and we're very aware that if we don't develop with our consumers will be left behind. And, and the restaurants and takeaways themselves, I mean, um, there's so many different ways or I suppose competitive platforms emerging too. The, to keep them in line to ensure that they're, you know, if a consumer uses the app and orders something to make sure, for example, it's delivered on time and right quality, how do you ensure that consistency? So we have a very transparent review system. So consumers, when they have ordered and after they have ordered, can go back and actually review their restaurant and their order. We monitor that um, religiously. Uh, if there is a restaurant that we feel isn't up to scratch, we'll go and work with them. And we'll say, look, you're not delivering on time or you're leaving things out of the order. The one thing consumers want is when they see Just Eat, that if they order, no matter what cuisine type they order from us, is they know it will arri arrive within a certain amount of time, in a certain um, form and of a certain type of quality. That has to happen and it has to happen globally. We're now a global co company so we need to ensure that restaurant partners are on board with us. Again, it's up to them. I mean, because of these reviews, people can go on. It's like anything like Airbnb or TripAdvisor. 
they can choose whether to choose order again from these restaurants so really it's in their own best interest to work with us take our help but again our restaurant partners know the value of giving good service so we we can be very confident that we have uh, a lot of them on there that are doing that consistently anyway a final question is the competitive environment um, different other other players who are emerging with apps are taking different approaches some are putting out their own infrastructure with their own delivery people for example uh, in terms of your model um, I th my observation is it helps you spread the model faster and further into the regions and the companies themselves or the restaurants themselves take it on themselves to deliver how do you find that your model will stack up against the competitors I mean you've got different players even Uber are looking at it in different countries for example how do you guys see the uh, Just Eat model uh, stacking up against uh, the competitors, co sorry, competitors out there um, I suppose it's a very exciting industry, as I've said, so of course there's always going to be new entrants. Um, but our biggest competitor is actually the phone. Um, we have to, I suppose, go up and deliver the same service that somebody could pick up the phone and order through their local restaurant, particularly with, within the Irish environment and how rural a lot of our country is. Um, we, we enjoy, we invite comp competition, it makes you better, but at the end of the day, if we can look at those phone customers and find a way of converting them to the app and just showing how easy it is to order online, that's what we're looking at at the moment. Um, it's, as I said, exciting industry, we're going to see lots of new entrants, um, whether it be Uber, um, but again, we welcome them, it makes us better and it makes it more exciting for the consumer and more choice for restaurant partners as well.